Why do I keep trying to pick wheat by hand? The roots are really down there. Yeah, we really shouldn't have fertilized with all those buildings and cars. Crops dying, earthquakes, floods. The economy collapsed because of all those natural disasters. I don't need to expand on that, you remember. Homo superior. Some call them the next stage in human evolution. Others, a threat to our very existence. Well, it's hard not to call them the next stage in human evolution when you call them Homo Superior in the same sentence. Couldn't we just call them Homo just as good? The X-Men will work with local and national authorities to keep the peace and to deliver help where it's needed. By dressing in totally banging skin-tight outfits. One man could have brought sense and sanity. Oh, why did I eat that ice cream sandwich in one bite? He's dead. Struck down when he and Magneto faced the menace called Bastion. Oh, come on. Bastion wasn't that hard. You should use the machete. It's super good. Without him, the X-Men just fell apart. Especially Crumble, the guy whose power is falling apart. They don't invite him out on missions that often. Now the school is just a target, Pixie. We'll rebuild it somewhere else. Somewhere with a beach. The government's mutant response division has deployed 10,000 troops in the Bay Area and moved its Telos Com satellite into orbit above the city. I would not want to be on that team. Like, improvisational skills would be essential. Some kind of normalcy to the city. That's our all. What about Magneto? Magneto has not been seen since the Bastion incident. Wait, in the future, Ricardo Montalban is alive, younger, and mayor? He's just deciding on his next move. Between mutants and purifiers, San Francisco is a virtual powder keg. What will it take to bring calm? Who Wait, Phoenix is dead? I thought that was her whole thing. Maybe she can only die like 30 times. The 31st time it's stuck. Huh. Die muties. Well, die seems bad, but muties kind of sounds like a term of affection. Oh, look at a little mutie. Today is about the future. A future we have chosen to face together. Human and mutant alike. And Ricardo Montalban, who is neither. Francisco has opened his arms to show the world that peace can be achieved. Maybe if they're trying to fit in, they should start dressing like normal people, not weirdos. They didn't choose to be mutants, but they did choose to dress themselves that way. I am proud to stand alongside the X-Men's leader. Meanwhile, sneaking in from Tokyo's fashionable Harajuku district, her mutant power is tall scarves. And human communities. I'm a little wary of a girl who dresses like Azrael from Soul Reaver. It's like, I, I would like to know if you have a lower jaw, please. We are peace keepers. The peace we build here is precious. Huh, Nightcrawler turned into a giant hippie. He's got a Rasta tail. I would like to call upon Cyclops, formerly of the Xavier Academy for Gifted Youngsters. Good afternoon. If I take this visor off, I will kill you all. Thank you. Oh, and then there's this guy, whose name is clearly Chad. Chad Backpack. His mutant power is, he just has a backpack. He can keep stuff in it. Oh, yikes. This guy's even more Chad than Chad. I like that he's just carrying a football around in case there's a pickup game around that he has to get in on. Hey, I know there's like a thing going on, but anyone up for some touch football? Your genes don't decide your destiny. You do. We all do. We all decide what jeans we wear. For my part, I choose to wear skin-tight Lycra. It's a support thing. So on this character selection, we picked the girl because we figured tiny Asian girl obviously the most powerful. Also, otherwise you have to be a guy named Chad. Arigato. You're welcome. I, n I know we're both Japanese, but why stop speaking English now? This ship will take us tonight. What about mother? I will bring her. Once I wake her up, you know how she likes to sleep in. Try to keep out of sight. Luckily, with your striped knee-high socks and your tiny skirt, you look exactly like a longshoreman, so you'll blend in perfectly. Do not... Hey, you didn't say flame on. It doesn't count if you don't say it. Father! The boat is leaving! What's that? I can't hear you. I'm on... I'm engulfed in flames. I can't... Father! can't hear a thing. What? Father! No, it's not... No, sorry. Well, I'd love to stay and watch the boat leave, but I have to go bet on some sporting events. Have you heard? I'm on fire!